Okay, we're here with Mr. Ars Technica. Hello, introduce yourself, Ken. Hi, I'm Ken Fisher. I'm the editor in chief of Ars Technica. So you know, I love Ars Technica. I think it's one of it's the, it's like one of the it's the one of the biggest blo tech blogs, if not the biggest, and it's also one that doesn't get a lot of attention um, in Silicon Valley necessarily, in sort of the ridiculous echo chamber that we have there that we like to enjoy. What do you what you started it many years ago? You're a Harvard religious studies major, correct? That's right. We started ours uh, in 1998. Uh, I was uh, bored one day in graduate school mm -hmm. and uh, just decided, well, I could do this technology thing. I'd had a career in IT for a long time. And mm -hmm. so I reached out to the most technical guys I knew and said, you know, well, we can run the servers. We can code HTML ourselves. We were being paid to do it at the time. Mm -hmm. So let's just do this. And uh, it started as a hobby and stayed uh, as much for maybe the first six years of the site. Now you have many millions of people on there, tens of millions of page views, everything like that. And it's not it's not so techy like a slash dot. How would you position yourself? Because you have a lot of tech news. It's quite accurate, which is one of the reasons I like it. You know, I have an issue with inaccuracy. Um, it's quite, it's well done. It's very aimed at your audience. How do you look at the site from your perspective? How do you look at it now today? I look at the site really as a community of like-minded people. Um, we have a joke uh, the, running uh, amongst the editors that ours is a lot like a university mm -hmm. and that it brings together people with similar uh, appreciations for uh, learning and, and, and for new topics, but not necessarily uh, homogeneity. Not you know we have a we have a sizable Apple sub community, mm -hmm. sizable Linux sub community, etc. Um, of course, Windows is, is still the default. Mm -hmm. uh, but we we so we really believe that bringing all these people together in one place and trying to make them communicate to each other and learn from each other is ultimately what. Uh, it lifts lifts uh, all boats, uh, as it were. Right. Well, you have that fancy title, Ars Technica. Define <laughs> it for the people, please, because yes. we're idiots in Silicon Valley. Well, uh, so it's an attributive construction in Latin, uh, which means art of technology. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if you've had a couple of years of Latin, you could fight with me over this and say mm -hmm. that it's not declined. No, I'm not going to do that if you don't mind. <laughs> I haven't right. had a couple of years of Latin. But but it, um, but but I can I, but I can assure you it it is quite accurate. But mm -hmm. um, we 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 decided in 1998 that we would make this make a site that would be attractive enough that we could choose a really obscure name and people would still come back. Now, 1998, you've been around forever. I mean, you're way before all this sort of trend among bloggers and everything. What do you, What's changed in the technology content sector and also in technology in general? Many, many things have changed. I suppose what's changed the most, or at least what I appreciate the most, is that uh, technology has become increasingly personalized. Mm -hmm. And so now, whether it's your RSS uh, feeds delivering just what you want to read, or it's your operating system, which you can, um, hopefully, the, 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 uh, the manufacturer developer has enabled you to customize it. But if not, these days, you can hack it anyway. Uh, the, the focus towards you know the individual and the individual's needs at any given time has really, I think, been great because technology, when I think of my first computer, which was a 286, mm -hmm. even at that time, uh, things things were uh, already, you could say, in their heyday, but mm -hmm. we were looking at technology quite differently than one size fits all was quite common. Um, there were, certainly weren't that many options in software. If mm -hmm. you were developing, there weren't that many options in languages on the PC, et cetera. Now, uh, there, opportunity options abound, and so there's, there's such a renewed interest on what makes a technology distinctive and what kind of distinctive uses uh, can you do with just the same thing. The same technology can be used in different ways. Look at RSS. So you can power so many things with RSS. Sure, absolutely. So that that to me has been what is my most uh, my most favorite thing about what what's happened in the last few years. Mm -hmm. um, but a very close second would be uh, the awareness around issues of intellectual property. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys write about the RAA a lot. We write about yeah, intellectual property issues are huge, and um, they're easy to do poorly. Mm -hmm. uh, they're difficult to do well. Uh, we put a, a very strong emphasis on knowing the law and, mm -hmm. um, you know, consulting with uh, experts, et cetera, because as uh, our digital lives mm -hmm. uh, start to consume more and more of our non-digital lives, mm -hmm. these intellectual property issues are going to be larger. Absolutely. I agree larger. with you. The problem is you're interviewing Hollywood people, and I, you don't spend a lot of time out there. You don't spend a lot of time in California in general. Why did you locate here in Boston besides being at Harvard and Divinity School? Uh, yeah, we – so – Part of it was just the chance of where we were located. Mm -hmm. uh, now most of the company is actually in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, but we we don't um, we don't have a big presence on the uh, on the left coast as it mm -hmm. were, and that's mostly because 
uh, we believe really firmly that there's innovation and exciting things happening all over the country mm -hmm. and that in fact um, I might even be a, a hair heretical and suggest that there are far more interesting things happening outside of Silicon Valley mm -hmm. that are happening what? in it alone. What? What are you talking and, about? Um, <laughs> We're the most important people in the world with the biggest brains. I, I, well, didn't you hear that? Certainly the most important. No one will. No one. Self-important is actually the correct <laughs> word, especially among tech bloggers. But um, it does sort of give you a different kind of attitude because you sort of straddle the line between geek and more commercial, you know, more mm -hmm. consumer kind of thing. I, you know how I would how I would characterize it is that uh, a lot of the more popular San Francisco publications mm -hmm. uh, that purport to be about technology, um, they're actually about people. Mm -hmm. They're about who you know and who you're with and who you're hanging out with and who you saw last week and mm -hmm. who you heard mention mm -hmm. something when they were too drunk one day. Um, and all of that's fine and interesting, but we're focused on technology mm -hmm. and how it affects culture. And that's not um, that's not a people story. Um, not what not on the level of like TMZ right um, and, and so, um, I, <laughs> now know, I like TMZ don't insult TMZ <laughs> well in that case they cover Britney Spears like it's the Iran Iraq war you understand that and I think that I, that's laudable to me as far as I'm concerned well you know people need distractions yes indeed so in terms of where this is all going tech content on the web all sorts of content on the web what's your prediction you know, my final question for you my prediction is that video is very important, mm -hmm. but it which you not, hardly do on there. Yes, which we don't do a lot of. We will do more in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, I actually predict that long-form journalism is going to return in a big way. Oh, I like this. This that, is good. Um, and that the written word will still be appreciated 15 years from now, mm -hmm. including three-syllable words. Uh huh. And, Not those. And, and complex sentence structures and all and all the rest. Uh, I, I really believe that. The written word and written language will flourish. Um, you know, video is important. We're going to do video, but I do think that there's a place for long-form journalism. Excellent. And this is why I love you, Mr. Ars Technica guy. <laughs> this is. I think you're absolutely right. Thank you so much. Cheers.